fries, Scoob. I can already taste the legends. Burgers, fries, onion rings. Wow, we're really here. <clears throat> uh, bring us like your most famous food, please. It's the way I always dreamed it. <laughs> it's the way I always smelled it. <sighs> <laughs> These aren't burgers. We changed management last week. Now we're organic vegan. Those are pureed sprouts and wheat gluten. Oh, uh, like it's not what you think, old pal. Velma and me were just doing a staring contest. Right, Velma? Right. <laughs> you see? Stop it, Shaggy. I'm not stupid. Are you cheating on me? <laughs> cheating? Like that is just... That's crazy talk, Scooby-Doo. Cheating? <laughs> Please. I mean, you're my dog. Raggy. No, I mean, Scoob, old pal of mine. Um, I care for both of you equally. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, really. Like, help me out here. No, I will not help you out here. Why don't you tell Scooby what's really going on between you and me? Yeah, tell me. Oh, boy. Well, Scoob, um, it's kind of like this. On a kind of sort of semi-official basis, me and Velma are like kind of sort of spending more time together than you and me. You got it? Oh, brother. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? I said something that hurt his feelings, didn't I? It's not you, Fred. Scooby's just being a big baby. Mm -hmm. Right, Shaggy? Yeah. Uh, if by big baby you mean the best darn grown-up pup ever, then yes, absolutely. Okay, game. Remember, our goal is to go in, find proof that Rusty Nails is behind the Humongonaut attacks, and then get out. I know that we're fighting, but this no eye contact thingy is getting a bit dangerous. Oh, okay. One eye, but no more. Like, is it me? Or does this feel weird? Yeah, it's strange mistering without the girls. No, I mean sitting shotgun. <laughs> like, I never get a ride up here. It's awesome. <laughs> Stereo. If you were a vampire, where would you hide out? The clam cabin? The pizza pail? Right! Let's try the cemetery. Which is why we need to keep watch on companies who pollute nature. Isn't that right, Shaggy and Scooby? Pardon? Are you aware that Grandma Moonbeam's nature slivers are manufactured by Destroido? And every bite you take supports the biggest polluter in Crystal Cove? No, but they're, like, super good. Yeah, what one? I don't even know why I let you take this class. In here. <laughs> Hold on to my horses. This mystery just got hairier, don't you know? Friends and the guinea pigs. Yeah! <laughs> Saggy, can you hear me? Drop one pellet for yes and two for no. Would you do it for a Scooby Snack? Oh. That is not Shaggy. No way. Uh, uh. If some great big evil dude buried under Crystal Cove has been controlling us, like, we have to question everything. 
We've been best buds since you were a pup, but like, how do we even know? We're really best buds. Could not best buds do this? Like not in a gazillion years. <laughs> The only clue from this investigation I've got so far is that Motor Bjorklund and the Graveyard Ghoul are pretty much the same height. That's reason enough to stay and eat more meatballs. You said it, Scoob. Let's meatball up. Welcome, everyone, to Fruit Myers. Remember, it's not ice cream. It's not yogurt. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. Would anyone like a shrimping boat made out of circus balloons? I don't get it. All this fuss over, what is this stuff again? You heard Franklin Fruitmeyer, it's a secret. That's why they call it Fruitmeyer's. <laughs> we'll give away five with every churro purchased. Good plan, Dad. Especially since Velma and her friends haven't been able to solve our manticore problem. Hot dog water's right. We need to focus, concentrate. Yeah, let's find some clues. <laughs> yeah, this is like hard work. How about a break, Scoob? Okay. Woohoo! Roller coaster. Actually, this is like as good of a place to search for clues as anywhere else. Good point, Waggy. I mean, who's to say that up here we won't find some sign of the... Ah! Manticore! <laughs> Farewell, mortals. <laughs> Once again, to your dough. Scoob, this isn't good. No, not good. But this is worse. Ah! Like Scooby Doo, old pal. This is it. The last hamburger. We've already eaten all of our snacks. I was saving this for an emergency. This is an emergency. That's the last hamburger. Ow! Oh, looks like we're roughing it from here, Raggy. Oh, thank goodness you're alive. By the way, you owe me for those three rides. What happened, you guys? It was like the manticore. <laughs> it grabbed us. What's with the voices, you two? You sound like you've been sucking on helium balloons. Maybe this is what happens when you inhale too much manticore. You are nothing but insignificant polyps on the corner of humanity. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Private hippie, did I not tell you to shave that growth off your chin? Wait, dude. Sir, um... It's kind of got a mind of its own. I'm like not even sure really what it is. Private hippie, do you take me for a fool? Um, sir, do you really want me to answer that? Huh? What the? Leave my private hippie, I mean Shaggy, alone. Scooby-Doo! <laughs> like, boy, am I glad to see you. We're under attack, boys! Remember your training. No, teenagers. Like, how did you find me? New Mayor, Crystal Cove's being attacked by an evil man, baby clown. They need us. Poor Dylan. He lost Brenda and his car in the same night. Poor Dylan. Poor us. It's snack time. So, like, where's the snacks, huh? Sorry, guys. I forgot to pick something up. Can you skip the snacks today? Skip snacks. You take that back now. Hey, kids. Did someone say snack time? 
<laughs> like Snackpot! Snackmania, I'm in heaven. <laughs> so you were attacked by a robot dog. The same robot dog who you say attacked that tour bus. That's right. And this robot dog, he looks like your real dog? Yes. Supposing this robot dog really exists, how do I know he doesn't belong to your real dog? The mastermind criminal dog. He's bound to have a closet full of robot dogs back home. Sheriff Stone, we're serious. He's still out there. Sheriff Bronson Stone. Sheriff, you've got to help us. The animal asylum is under attack by some sort of fright hound. Well... That's great. While you kids have been wasting my time with your imaginary robot dog, a fright hound has attacked the asylum. The asylum? If we don't get the Scooby quick, like, that robot will. I think it's looking for something. I've got something for him. Come on. Scooby-Doo, always. <laughs>